Hi folks. So today's topic, I've pulled some cards and had a look at the inspiration around me. Um, selected a little reading, a passage from dreams and the sense of working towards inner self-love. I've got a beautiful oil synergy today of rose oil and peppermint to cultivate that sense of self-love, remind myself, and it does smell lovely, um, remind myself of the internal self-love and how important that is to be showing up in the world and peppermint to just lift the vibration a little bit um, and invigorate this process. I think I'll start with the reading first. It's short but um, relevant. Again, I've been guided. So here goes the reading. And in the soul of her was a great white light, a rite of passage written before. The meaning arrived as she transcended the lessons of the devil and took hold of her chains. She bit them so hard it could not but break and release her. This fire belongs to the embodiment of him her internal divine masculine energy. And she no longer carried a torch. She was whole to sing the song of light into the world. Now, if you've got your hand full with the torch, as you're trying to cultivate something inside of you, you've only got the other hand free. So what we want to create is balance with the internal divine masculine and divine feminine within ourselves. That, um, reading i also finished with a mandala you can see it yeah just creating that image of self in the mandala so then i um kind of went to the tarot deck the rider weight tarot deck to see what was in there the first card that came out was the lovers so a very important um card in terms of cultivating the internal love for yourself divine masculine divine feminine there in the middle here, we've got that um, volcano that spews out of the earth the essence of life, really, life force that transforms being fire energy. So this relates to the fire that belongs to the embodiment of him, the masculine side of self, the sun to her moon, so to speak. Um, over here, we have the archangel of love beholding having them in her embrace and behind we have the sun again that masculine energy that sense of um, empowerment that takes you towards your internal love cultivation so the next card that came out of my earth wisdom oracle deck funnily enough was divine love And then that image, we've got something where this girl is, is laying on the grass pondering. She has what we could call a cup or a pot or a vessel of some sort that she wants filled. She's enjoying the sense of muse where she is. Now there is um, like a portal here and there are four rings, the sense of balance within self, all circular. So it's all like the mandala, um, a sense of cultivating balance. Um, and you can see that the bush behind is full of abundance. So this message today is about cultivating love inside, you, inside yourself. Most of the time it is, but these cards are telling the story in the way that they want to today. So the next card that we've got is the Three of Pentacles. And again, we've got that trine of circles pointing towards internal balance mind body and soul if you like thoughts feelings and emotions um, this card is about um, a collaboration really trying to gain mastery on something and you can see that the lady's cloak there really does talk about the lower chakral areas creating abundance safety and confidence to move forwards as you channel into your internal love source. The next person there who does look like a man has um, lighter 
clothes reminds me a little bit of the hermit, the hermit's cloak in many ways. So it talks about something internal. We've got something very earthy here in these lower chakras and we've got something deeply internal. And they're collaborating with this guy who reaches sort of in that sense of truth speaking, that blue um, of the throat chakra. They're discussing um, this collaboration, this mastery. And the one who stands highest is the one who is the truth teller, so to speak. Collaborating with these internal and lower chakra energies. <clears throat> Cultivating a doorway of two entrances, much like the lovers. And equally, the next card is like the two here, the two of cups. Cultivating a sense of emotional balance between divine masculine and divine feminine. Again, those energies inside of you, not assigned to him, her. This includes everybody. And in this, in the centre of this card's image, we have this healing and transformational um, symbolism that is ruled by a lion's head there, a, a Leo type energy, also a fire energy. And we have the wings again, much like the angel here. So we're talking about higher self looking into a higher self, finding higher self and taking some of the guidance. Um, the background of this Two of Cups card has a beautiful little village, see? Surrounded by greenery, the absolute constancy of nature, which is what you are on this earth. And there's a little house there's some trees. It looks like a lovely place to be. And between them and that little village is a very smooth running river. They're both ordained with um, floral or wreath-like crowns. Again, taking inspiration um, from your higher self as related to nature and the essential part of nature that you are so it's kind of calling in when you're looking at that sense of um from the reading by biting the chains away you're looking at cultivating a sense of freedom inside yourself when you cultivate um, internal love and freedom is exactly the space you want to be in uh, to, um, withholding your personal sovereignty as a sacred rite of passage. The next card is the Seven of Cups. So this is so that you can cultivate the choices that you wish to see in your life. And there are many choices. Sometimes when there's so many before us, we can find it difficult to, to select one, but you don't have to actually select one. You can select all or as many as you like. You really can. The next card that came out of the Earth Wisdom card next to the Choice card, the Seven of Cups, was Inspiration. Taking inspiration from your primordial self, your inner wolf, what is it that sets you wild and free in this cultivation of um, personal freedom, your rite of passage to express and be exactly as you want to be? It's a primordial self and she has a, um, she's wearing a purple gown. So it's like a very spiritual um, sense of touching in with her inner animal um, as part of the collaboration for her internal dualistic energy forces that are playing out. She's surrounded by the woods, the trees. So she's rather protected by nature itself. Again, nature certainly wants to be coming out in this um, reading. This is a great way to ground when you're out in nature. I know everyone says it, but it is. You can just... Feel the vibration of the trees, smell the trees, especially this time of year when it's wet. You can really get that um, olfactory sensation churning up, churning up that decompression of the parasympathetic system. 
So the, the bottom up process, the sensation of being in amongst the trees and smelling all the wet foliage and what have you this time of year really does bring a sense of feeling settled in the parasympathetic system. She, although she's walking on snowy ground where some emotions beneath her may not be revealed yet, they may be frozen over, you can see there are little plants and flowers breaking through and not only do they match the colour of her gown, it's like they're synchronising with her on her pathway. As she's walking through that pathway, she's creating these little pockets of abundance within her sovereignty. Absolutely lovely. The next card from the Earth Wisdom Oracle is Responsibility. And this really does point to us taking responsibility for our own sense of freedom and personal sovereignty by releasing those chains and stepping into that rite of passage where we say, I can cultivate what I like as long as I'm not hurting anybody. And in that card, as you can see again, she's got a bag there because she's got things, she's got tools um, with her, a bit like the magician really. It's a symbolism of you have everything you need in there. Um, and she's gazing outwards. So she's dreaming. She's taking responsibility for her own manifestations in her search for personal freedom. And in the background, there again is another concentric circular um, pattern that is guarded by the trees, the safety of nature. So your right to personal freedom is really shouting at you today to say this is an organic process. Go with your internal flow. I'm reading the cards intuitively. I know that tarot can be very different to that, but I'll do what I like and like what I do. We've got the Page of Pentacles next to this. Responsibility. Starting anew, setting off with a sense of, I can cultivate all the earthly things I wish to see. I can be successful. I can start this journey towards personal freedom. Because surrounding this page, again, we've got a cluster of trees. We've got a mountain in the background very shamanic symbol of life's journey. The shamanic rule is, or the shamanic wisdom, let's say, not rule, is that we, the journey towards self, towards that image, that mandala image, is one that asks us to walk up the mountain with our spirit guides, our spirit animals, our internal archetypes, going up that mountain, exploring ways that we are have been and getting to a space of does this still serve my highest good as we get up to that peak of the mountain. Um, that is the shamanic um, ethos that we walk up mountains and we get to the top of one. Um, we can reside there for a while, contemplate, reflect on the journey before. That's the treasure at the top of every mountain and then make our ascension down the mountain again, just like the hero's journey, but with a sense of achievement and heading off to the next mountain. And we have to start at the foot of that all the time, garnering wisdom for the internal state, the internal self, the internal archetypes, uh, the forces of source, universe, spirit guides, that sort of thing coming towards us, we're creating this awareness of soul tribe because that already exists and some of your soul tribe is inside you, your joker archetype, your fool archetype, your magician archetype, your um, divine masculine, divine feminine archetype, your saboteur, your carer, your inner artist, all those things, they're all inside of you, waiting for you to call upon them as you do this journey. Again, we've got a couple of mountain 
um, symbols here already in the lovers we can see the volcano the symbol of the mountain we can see in the two of cups the symbol of the mountain in the village behind we can see in the page of pentacles also the symbol that we were just talking about so we're looking at a life's journey towards personal freedom personal freedom really is the expression of self and when we start to cultivate that inside of ourselves we can often find that the light that we're starting to garner inside of us can be triggering for those that are a little bit limited or stagnant or not moving on in that growth pathway, which is up to them. Um, we can find that we can trigger people, but we can also start again to call in that soul tribe. Those that assist us on our journey, those that love who we are, are not threatened. Don't call us stubborn. Don't call us unwilling. Don't call us any of that. See us for exactly who we are and accept it without opinion. Negative opinion, because if it's negative opinion, you know you're triggering somebody. You're bothering them. Um, and that's, that's the way of it. This is what we are all doing. So the next card is the Four of Pentacles. Now, in that space of garnering personal freedom through acts of inner divine love we start to cling on that journey up the mountain we can start to cling on to things hold on to the earthy stuff we start to become a little bit afraid of our own potential it's not our pitfalls we're afraid of because we're regularly reminding ourselves of that we're good at that and actually most of them aren't even true they're simply part of the journey we start to come, become afraid of our own success. Now, I'm not talking about external success, despite the fact that pentacles are a very earthy manifest type symbolism. I'm talking about the internal success, the sense of personal freedom, the sense of will that says, okay, we're done here. I'm not entertaining this anymore. Or, ooh, I like that. I really do like that. I'm going to do more of that. Those things are personal freedom. Or I'm interested. I'm going to have a look at that now. I'm not looking to complete anything. Just looking at having a go. That openness towards exploration. Um, if we can release some of the structural ideas of our own domestication, our own limiting, you've got to do this, you've got to do that, because you've got to earn money and you've got to have that, and you've got to have that. If we start to release those things, it can be a very scary process, letting go. And that's even letting go of um, expectation of others, expectation of ourselves and the old ways we have come to know ourselves. These are some of the things that we unburden ourselves with as we go up that um, mountain. And sometimes I imagine it like a rucksack. You've got a rucksack on your back and it's full of all that gold and it's really heavy but it's not your gold it's the gold that's been given to you bestowed upon you by the systems around you when you start to let that go and you just leave it on the mountainside someone else will find it or it'll just roll down and embed in the earth as more and more people trample over it on their way up the mountain no one's going to worry about it as you let that go i find that the rucksack itself starts to unravel at the bottom and everything that we put in it then just passes through it just comes out the other end we're not needed to take any weight up the mountain nor to to maintain any weight at the top of the mountain it's all about letting go of what doesn't suit you what isn't you it can go really deep that sort of journey but it's that pathway to personal freedom However, when we get atop the mountain, the next card is reminding us that you have everything you need and you are the queen of your own manifest destiny. You sit like the queen of cup, um, pentacles. And again, this isn't you're a queen if you're a woman, you're a queen if you're a man, you're them, they, queens, everyone. We got queens going on because you start to rule 
your sovereignty, your personal freedom, you become like the divine feminine um, energetic force, the person that manifested and cultivated this sense of personal sovereignty. Sitting on your throne. Again, another mountain in the background behind. Because we're never finishing this journey, we are moving forwards with the sense of continuing to move forwards towards personal freedom. It's not something that you, a place that you get to and something that you have. It is something that you constantly cultivate as part of a simple exploration on this life. On this life plane, on this earth plane as a human. And this can take you, next card, into the direction that you wish to go. And again, another mountain there. But we're not to know what's on this journey. Because that number eight there is about eternity, isn't it? It's the um, number of eternity. When you turn it on its side, it's infinity. It takes you in the direction that you go, but you don't necessarily know what's there. That in itself is personal freedom. Now, everyone's going to be shouting about, well, you've got to have a job, you've got to have money, you've got to be able to put food, you've got to pay your bills. Not We know, no one's saying you don't need to do that. No one's saying just give all that up and start walking up mountains. No, this is about the metaphor of um, wielding personal freedom and internal sovereignty. And as you take the direction you want, you will find that you will gain a great many skills in life to share with others with the view to creating the internal balance. If you have that, if you have created that, now look, this person's holding, this person is a master. They have, they're dressed and ordained in this um, higher self clobber let's say they hold the, the the scales of balance inside you're holding the scales of balance inside it is up to you to share that wisdom with people not to become spiritual teachers and things but to allow yourself to show up as that because people are interested when you're showing up as your most authentic self with a sense of personal freedom you inspire you become a muse to people. Now, I'm not saying this to stroke your ego. I'm saying this to own yourself. We like being with people who own themselves, don't we? People who say, no, mm, don't do that. I'm, I'm not, not interested. I don't like it. I do what I like. People like to hear that. Because it reminds them they can. Doesn't it? So I'm going to pull a couple from... The Earth to Ether, Etheric Alignment Oracle deck. And then I will let you go because this is running on a bit now. We're on 23 minutes. But it's a nice old Tuesday morning in sight before I get cracking for the day. And I've got a busy one, but I like this because it allows me to meditate beforehand and start the day with a sense of focus and inspiration because mornings are great for me. Now, yesterday's reading um, the hammer came out on the lover's oracle and it reminded me of the toad it talks about internal renovation and here he is he's shown up today renovate renovate grow towards success this is what we're talking about the cultivation of internal sovereignty personal freedom it's an attitude, it's a knowing, it's, it is a rite of passage. It is a rite of passage. Any more, here we are. Divine love inside. This is the second divine love card that's come out. Another reminder. That was a picture of the sun I took through the trees. I just altered the filter a little bit. That inside of you, see that it's 
surrounded by what looks like darkness because it's the woods that um, created the shadow around the light, but that it was the shadow that made the light brighter. And when we look at those shadows inside of ourselves, do you know, it, 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 if we can move into the integration of our shadows, that is such a place of divine love because it's a, a place of acceptance, radical acceptance and knowing who you are as you go up that mountain. Knowing who you are and who you've become brings your sense of forgiveness for yourself and for others. Any more here for this one? I've got my eye on that one now. I'm going to go there because I've got a lot of these cards. I'm just going with the flow and going with the feeling. It's cultivating a lovely feeling inside. Okay, you are your own master. Now that really links with this, doesn't it? You are your own master. And this one. Wearing the clobber of the mastery. The cloak and the gown. And this again is a sun energy. A masculine energy. And we do need to have cultivate confidence inside of ourselves if we're going to um, allow our inner divine masculine to speak up in life. And it's not rude, it's not brash, it's not domineering and it's not egotistical. It's just our sense of personal freedom, that inner sun in the solar plexus region saying, this is me, this is how I am. Oh, look, again, relative, forgive yourself. As we go on through that shadow journey, just what we were saying related to this card about the shadow, start to forgive yourself. You learn about yourself, you explore yourself. You also get a sense of stepping back from yourself and observing yourself in your life path when you are cultivating that sense of personal freedom. It's your right to um, come to terms with yourself and your story. And then we've got a new dawn. Who's dawn? And why is she new? Where's the old one gone? Every day you wake up, you're a bit more renewed. These, the, your, your journey, your shadow journey, and your, your pathway to um, personal sovereignty will bring you a sense of newness. You will renew yourself. You will renovate the foundations of you by moving out of those systematic ideas, restrictions and things that impinge on you. You'll move through them and you create a new you and it's absolutely divine. It's a fantastic journey. It really is. I've come to this person. I, I'm the, um, this is the new old me. This is how I always was. Only I've got more years of wisdom and experience on me now. But there's some, some great parts of my old self that have returned. And I'm very bloody pleased about it. Because that old me, she had so much mojo. It was ridiculous. And I've got that back. In this sense of moving into the new space of personal freedom. So we've got a couple of cards here. So the first one is internal divine feminine, which is good because we've had a lot of talk about the sun um, and the inner divine masculine. Now we're talking about the inner divine feminine. She is your guide. She is your archetypal guide when you embark upon the journey of self and it, with the view to cultivating as much um, internal freedom as you can, personal freedom. She is divine. She will speak softly to you. She will not interfere. She won't tell you what to do. She certainly isn't the one who chastises you. She is the one who celebrates your personal growth. She's the one who will wrap her arms around you and say, you are, you're doing it. You're great. Daily rituals or daily routines are your rituals. So the things that you do, make sure that you're trying to cultivate um, a sense of what are your Dreams and aspirations, write them down, put them on a mood board, um, journal them, draw them in an image, conjure the image inside of your mind 
and allow yourself, whatever the image, allow yourself to say this. This, if, if I can allow myself to be, do and behave and speak like this, that is me being organically myself. And it doesn't have to be king of the world type. You don't have to go for prime minister and you don't have to be the world's best at anything. You don't. Because as you can see, this image is talking about the normality, the, 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 the extraordinary in what seems like the ordinary. And there is an abundance here. This very common daisy flower speaks to us and says, well, look at me. Have you seen how many petals I've got? Have you seen how fantastic I am, how beautiful I am and how I am a symbol of this cultivation of spring and summer in us, in us all. Oh, this is a nice card. The world ending cycle, new cycle. This is my world card. This is my um, Labradorite globe, which is um, sit with that and I can trip the light. Fantastic. And it's very good. It's about ending that old cycle, turning it out. Moving from old into new every single day. One of the ways you can do that is to allow yourself to see what's in your dreams. Because your dreams will give you ideas. If you sit now, take a few deep breaths and say to yourself, I would like to cultivate my right to freedom. I would like to cultivate my personal freedom and the ability to um, journey up my own mountain and transform some of the things that I don't want. I would like to see what the deadwood is that I'm carrying in my life and let it go, release it, like the Four of Pentacles. I don't want to carry these weights anymore, these expectations, these beliefs, these limits. I don't want to carry them anymore. You can sit and say that now and your spirit guides will hear you. The universe will hear you and it will act in accordance with that vibration that you're sending out. This final card, because we're on 32 minutes now, Keep to your own business. That is a doggo's nose and it is beautiful. Mm. Yes, it is. Keep to your own business. When you're on this journey, don't worry about what others are going to say. They're probably not going to understand and, and they'll probably have a, an opinion on what they think you should do and how you're seeing to yourself and maybe being selfish or disrupting things. Everyone's disrupting something when they're on their journey to personal freedom. It is disruptive, which is why it's one of our challenges. We are spiritual beings having a spiritual experience here on the earth plane. Everything you do, everything you are is spiritual. There's not some spiritual acts. It's all spiritual. Even your voice, your words, your language, your thoughts, they are spiritual. They are of essence. They generate something. They generate energy out in the atmosphere. They generate energy in the field of consciousness that we are all steeped in and are. We are here as a human or in human form, but it is a projection from something far bigger, greater and more transformational. So get hold of that as you go up your mountain <laughs> on your journey to personal freedom. I don't know why that made me laugh. It sounded a little bit like a, an insult. Go up your mountain, mate. But do it, I dare you. Have a lovely Tuesday. I love you. I think you're brilliant. Cheers.